Fantastic. You know, what you really do is you build out, you really build the excitement of this excerpt. I, I love how you're doing it. So, we have a committee of people. How many people listen to an audition in a professional orchestra? Give me a number. Let's say 40? No. In North America, in Europe, maybe. In North America, more like nine. Okay. You know, you're going to have, you're going to have, of course, the rest of the horn section. You're going to have a couple of wind players. You're going to have maybe a principal string, you know, a principal flute. Uh, and the conductor if you're, if you're near the finals. And so sometimes, sometimes when we're preparing an audition, you're, you're a little strategic, right? So I feel like uh, I noticed you, you really come away at the ya di di ya da 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 I think that was probably sensible, but, but maybe a, a little too much. But what I want to address right now is sometimes the, the volume in the first five, six bars, you're getting to a stage where if there was a cellist on that committee, he or she might feel like you're overwhelming the section a little bit. Instead, I'd like you to see you a little more strategic. So Strauss gives us, gives us these accents. So, and I think that and these big leaps are when you want to hear horn color out of, out of, the, mm -hmm. out of the orchestra when you're hearing it. So instead of, instead of uh, the extreme volume here, you know, Instead of getting, the, getting that sound where somebody might think, ah, you know what, not one of those players, which you're certainly not. Can we see if we can get one forte dynamic from the very first bar and instead use, use the accents to your advantage to show horn color. You know what I mean by horn color, right? Just a mm -hmm. little bit of spice in the sound. Let's try it from the top one more time. You're going to create one phrase right through at a forte. Yep. I think there's room for more accent. Okay. I, I really think there's more room. I mean, if you look at the cello section when they're doing, they're like, really, really bobbing. And I feel like there's room for you to kind of shine a little bit. So I feel like maybe your articulations are a bit. Those might be a little hard, but mm -hmm. somewhere in between the two is what I think works. So let's go from ya di da. That's that's when you really miss. I hear ya di da, ya da dum dum. Okay. <laughs> It's, it's really good, but what I've gotten you to do is just play louder. And yeah. what I'm looking for is the accents. So you just right then, I heard as loud here. I heard that as the same volume. What I want is... So we hear where the accent is. Do you see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yada Exactly. So, if you take my system of saying you need skills, and you need character, and you need repetition. Now, this is an excerpt that nails all three. The skills are hard, the character is paramount, and the repetition part is also very difficult. So, since you've seemed to have solved the skills aspect of this, what have you worked on in order to make, for instance, the first bar smooth and even? What have I worked on? I worked on being very careful on subdividing the first, the first low B flat. Yeah, da, 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 da. Yep. And so that's the the cellos are, are going to be playing the eight notes, but I'm I'm actually thinking. Aha! Interesting. And that helps you release off of the low B flat. Yeah. Okay. What about these sixteenth notes? Sixteenth notes, just again subdivide everything. Yeah. So this uh, this uh, infamous middle G. Mm -hmm. How did you work on that? How did I work on it? I think I started off 
practicing just the interval between the G and the D. Yeah, show that to us. Yes? Exactly. So you basically you slowed it down, mm -hmm. and you found the slot for each of those notes. When you're trying to make something repeatable, that's exactly, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's Mozart or Strauss, that's a really great way to do it. Well, bravo, that sounds fantastic. Thank you.